For the third time in less than a year, the skies over Warner Robins are filled with space-age aircraft. The shuttle Discovery becomes the latest orbiter to make a landing here because of the weather. So uh, it's very convenient for them to uh, uh, come in here uh, as opposed to staying out in Texas or somewhere else. You know, what they want is a long runway with a good place to park, uh, ready fuel and uh, any uh, minor maintenance that they could get, and we have all of that here. So it's very convenient for them to use Robbins. Is it an inconvenience for Robbins? No, not at all. Obviously, uh, we have some people out on weekends here that would now obviously be working on weekends, but uh, I don't think if you went and talked to any of them, they are complaining a bit. The shuttle's astronauts are not working this weekend, though. They are at home in Texas after their five-day mission to put the Hubble telescope into orbit. But when Discovery landed at Robbins, a full support crew was on board. Uh, then we've got about um, 20 or so support personnel who uh, fly with the Pathfinder, a C-141, about 20 minutes ahead of it. NASA officials say they expect the crew and the shuttle itself to continue on the way to Cape Canaveral Monday morning. Liftoff time is tentatively scheduled for 10.30 a.m. Laura Minter, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.